With courage does the hero march. Fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose. Guidance born of ancient wisdom proven. Peace, not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule. Lead not the guiltless lamb to bloody slaughter, nor cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead, your allies close, your rivals stunned in dread. Worthy you are found. Go forth, hero, seize your fate, and rise, great worm, heart of the gate. So, oh, the great dragon's naught but bones. Some help that'll be. They're not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Ansor wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansel senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack. My words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, and in you, calm, curious, and detached. Bolduran, your presence has stirred me as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been too long. A name I once answered to. A name I did not expect to hear again. Least of all from the mouth of an old friend. Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Baldoran? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Balderan fallen? Stillness. Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear Ansur. Enough! I gave you everything, Balderan. And you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness Baldoran. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. 
and saw. I never thought I'd see him again. I was. Now, I am much, much more. But it seems you are more interested in my past. Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to fan Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea called to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Put simply, yes. And being alive even more so. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. One nether stone remains. We must find it before the brain breaks free. <laughs>